I'm going to be showing you how to install and root a Nook Simple Touch so that it can run uh, XCSOAR uh, with Terrain and USB host support. Um, so what I've got here is a stock Nook Simple Touch running stock. You can see the Barnes & Noble software on it. And I've got two micro SD cards. One is blank and the other is labeled Victor 3. That's uh, the card I fly with. That's my uh, call sign of my airplane. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to my PC and I've downloaded from the wiki site uh, the zip file which is called 2GB or 2, 2 gigabyte uh, clockwork RC2 Nook USB Tain image zip file. Long name but that's the file, that's the link you download for this uh, from the wiki. So first thing I'm going to do is unzip it so I click, I right click on it, I've got uh, zip installed and I say extract to here 7-zip and um, takes a second to extract the compressed file is um, 175 uh, megabytes the unzipped file is about twice that size and the reason it's so large is because this is your entire Nook uh, operating system and data uh, partition. So when you once you restore this image onto your Nook, your Nook will be everything will be gone um, on the Nook. Okay, so that took about uh, a little less than a minute to do that. Still thinking. Okay, now we have two files, and the um, the extracted one is actually it's it's almost two gigabytes. So in other words, this is an uncompressed image, and it's for a two gigabyte image. Now I'm going to use a four gigabyte SD card and burn it onto this, but it's going to re when I do that, it's going to end up reformatting uh, this four gigabyte card down to two gigabyte. Card. So first thing I need to do is I'm going to stick the SD card in my uh, SD card reader for my PC. Just like that. And um, that should hopefully appear. And I'm going to format that card. I'm going to format it using the Panasonic SD formatter, not the Windows formatter. And I've got a shortcut to that right here. Panasonic uh, SD card formatter. Um, Uh, wait a minute, that's not it. it. Is right here on my start menu. So I click on that and start it up. And it says, Warning, do you want to run? I say yes. And there it is. And I'm going to choose the I drive, which is the correct drive. And I'm going to click on options and say format size adjustment. This is going to reset it back to the native size of the card. You have to do that first in case you've done anything with your card. Click on format. It says, are you sure? Yes. Are you really sure? Yes. And boom. So now I've got four gigabytes on my card. I'm going to exit out of that. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is uh, is I've already downloaded the image and I've already downloaded WinDisk32 Imager. So now I have WinDisk32 Imager window open. So I'm going to select the image file that I just unzipped, which is in, um, let me find it on my C drive. It's under Nook. Uh, restore images temp, that's where I put it. And here it is, it's uh, my image file that I just unzipped. 
and now I'm going to select the I drive. Make sure you select the right drive, and I'll click on Write. And it says, Are you sure? I say yes. <clears throat> now this is going to take about 10 minutes to burn, and I'm going to pause the video. You can see the uh, progress is coming up. It's doing 4.5 megabytes a second. But remember, it's this is writing two gigabytes total. So do the math. That's that's about five to ten minutes. So I'm going to pause the video. Okay, we're back, and uh, Win32 image has successfully uh, completed. The right, and I have a little message here that says, I'll drag it here, right successful, so that's good. So I'm going to exit out of uh, Win Image, and I'm going to eject my uh, hard disk over here. Say eject. Okay, and now I will remove the uh, SD card, not hard disk, from my computer, and Let's see, let's point the camera down at the uh, nook now. Zoom out a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to put the SD card in the nook slot, which is right here. Okay, and I'm going to reboot the nook by holding down the button on the back, that's right here, for five seconds. So 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000. Let's try that again. There we go. Now we have the power off screen. So this power's off. Did it do it? Didn't do it. Try it again. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000. Okay, so now it says completely power off the device. Yes. Okay, so now we're at the power off screen. I'm going to let it sit for about 20 seconds. And now I'm going to turn on the Nook by again holding the power off button for about five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now when it starts up, it's going to go into this uh, Clockwork Mod recovery screen. So this is the, uh, this funny symbol here with the gear and the N is uh, Clockwork. It's a great utility um, for uh, changing the image on your Nook. Change, upgrading, downgrading, backing up, restoring. And I don't know if you can read this or not. This is the menu we have. And the menu we're going to, option we're going to choose is the fifth, the one in the earth that says backup restore. So I'm going to hit the button, this down button here, and it moves me down three, four, to backup restore. And then to select backup restore, I hit the end button here. And that takes me to this screen here, and I have an option to back up or restore. And I'm going to say restore. And I'm going to hit the uh, end button again. And now the only option I have is the, um, there's only one option on this image that uh, that's on the disk. So I'm going to select it, and it's, uh, it's called something along the line of USB Terrain Top Hat Clean. So I'm going to select that. And now it gives me this crazy menu here. I have to go do no, 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 to the one that says yes, restore, and click that. And you can see it's working on the bottom of the screen. And um, the restore takes about 10 minutes, so I am not going to... Um, not going to show the whole thing, but I should note that uh, on the instructions it says before you restore my image, you might want to consider using the backup option. The backup option is a, again, it's a great utility. It takes a snapshot of the entire 
memory and disk drive contents of the Nook, not your SD card, but just the internal memory, and puts it in a file. So all your programs, your operating system, your user data, uh, you can back up and then restore to an earlier point in time. So uh, it's a great tool to have. So you can see it's it's working. It's Again, it's going to take about 15 minutes. So we're going to pause here. So you can see it's kind of doing stuff here. And I'm going to pause. Okay, we're back. I'm still looking at the Nook. You can see at the very bottom here it says uh, Restore Complete. So now I'm going to take out the uh, bootable SD card from the uh, Nook. Take that out, put that aside. And I'm going to reboot. And, and you need to reboot this first time by holding down the, the end button and the back button for about 20 seconds. Let's just do that one, two. Okay, there's the reboot. Now it starts up. And you can see it. Uh... So it still says Barnes & Noble in it. This is the rooted version, we hope. Okay, and the first thing you'll notice is the screensaver is a scenery. It's not the uh, the uh, author's screensaver anymore. So I'm going to slide my finger over to the right to uh, unlock it. Let me zoom out a little bit. Okay, I'm going to try it again. And now we're at an Android screen. So this should look a lot like an Android screen to users who have used it before. And um, it is Android, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my SD card in it, which is my uh, Victor 3 flying one. This is uh, what I fly with. So I stick that in here. It's got my XCSOR data folder on it. So before I start XCSOR, I'm going to stick that in there. You can see it says, oh, I got an SD card. Good. Okay, and now um, the icon I've got here, it's called Top Hat. We've renamed top, uh, XCSOR Top Hat just for this purpose for the Nook. Um, so I'm going to click on that. And boom, we have Top Hat. And you can see up top it says um, Top Hat 0 0.1.0 based on XCSOR 6.4.3. And it says uh, Top Hat. So I'm going to go into simulator mode. And there you have it, Top Hat with Terrain.